Hello there YouTube, my name is Steven and welcome to my first ever video and review and today I will be reviewing Dark Souls and before I get started I do know what you're thinking why am I reviewing a game that has been on shelves for several months already? Well, in response to that there is a new prepare to die edition for computers that has recently been announced now uh, beforehand there was not uh, any edition for computers at all there was no Dark Souls for PC or Mac or anything it was a console only uh, game for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. This edition will include uh, many new things from new zones and areas for your character to explore to bosses, NPCs hopefully, uh, armor and weapons and all that good stuff. Now I'm very excited for this, I hope it's released as downloadable content for the Xbox 360. If not, I'll just have to buy a second copy on PC and I don't really have a problem with that because I love this game. Now, first of all I'm going to start off with gameplay. Uh, the first thing that uh, comes to mind when I talk about gameplay is the absolutely fantastic mechanics this game has incorporated. The combat is extremely responsive, the enemies fight well, the AI is not by any stretch uh, unintelligent. Um, oh, it, it's such a well designed combat system and I got much enjoyment out of it and I tell you the first time you kill that big tough boss that has been keeping you there for hours you, you just you'll feel great you, you, you will feel great and furthermore on this point it is extremely varied uh, you'll start the game you can choose from a series of 10 classes and uh, on the outlook um, uh, at the start of the game they will uh, give you a very different experience for how you will start playing the game. You can choose from a mage, a hunter, a rogue, assassin -y type character, knight in shining armor, all of that cool stuff. And uh, from these classes you'll get given a certain set of armor and weapons for you to start the game with. And that will pretty much determine uh, how you play the first few uh, areas, not exactly levels, but areas of the game. But, and this is a big but, as you progress through the game, you can pretty much customise your character from to, to, to become anything that the game allows you. Uh, you. You could start off as a knight and you can end up as a, as a fire-breathing mage, and I'm not joking, you can breathe fire if you, <laughs> if you so choose to. But, of course, every game has its drawbacks, and <laughs> although the combat is extremely rewarding and interesting, uh, certain players will find it repetitive and sometimes dull. I'm not one of these players. I love this game, as I've said before, but I can understand why people would not enjoy it so much as when it boils down to it, it is a hack and slash RPG, and that is all you do in it. You roleplay while hacking and slashing. And by roleplay, I obviously don't mean sitting around a table with your friends rolling some dice. Uh, Role-playing elements in this game uh, mainly consist of building your character's stats. There are a wide variety of stats to build uh, to choose from, and they allow your character to, to develop into whatever you want, as I previously stated. Now, to talk about the gameplay and the drawbacks, I would I would be ridiculously dumb to miss the major topic that is the difficulty. Now, personally, I found the game challenging, but very very beatable, and not as bad as people state it to be. People act as if this game <laughs> literally forces you into a world where you have next to no chances of surviving and nothing is your friend and everything hates you etc etc but when it boils down to it, it's a game. It, it is beatable, it's very beatable and when you beat it you just feel that much better for, for, for overcoming this great challenge which everyone makes it out to be. So I personally do not feel that the, the difficulty of the game is by any means uh, a con but a lot of people may disagree with me and I you know if, if that's the way they feel about uh, this game then that's the way they feel about this game the difficulty just isn't for everyone there are a few other nitpicks with gameplay which I've probably left out but I mean I'm limited to a time here uh, the, the, <laughs> the character animations could be polished uh, s some areas where you're running along you'll slip and slide along some very precarious drops and sometimes fall off through no fault of your own which can be incredibly frustrating but like I said nitpicks that do not ruin the overall experience of the game but moving on from gameplay as there is something else I want to talk about and that is the the background that has been put into this game it is incredible and that is not me uh, fanboying about this game, although as I previously said, I do love it. Um, the lore is amazing, it is immense, it is incredibly detailed, and the best part about it, it doesn't spoon feed you it. And I advise those of you who are interested in that aspect of the game, you should read item descriptions, you should talk to all the NPCs you find, because some of them are very interesting characters. 
and you'll have a blast. I mean, I had great fun finding it out. And also, once you're finished with the game's playthroughs and stuff, you you might have missed some things, you might want to know a bit more, go to Epic Name Bros uh, channel and watch his lore series. My goodness, he is fantastic for finding all of that stuff out. But like every single game, this game has its drawbacks. And those drawbacks lie in the storyline, as in there isn't much of one. Uh, you're told your quest, I won't give any spoilers to how this game ends or how the game uh, starts or any of this stuff, but you have your quest, you have an opening cutscene, uh, you have a final cutscene based on the ending you get, because it has multiple choice endings by the way, uh, which is pretty cool for an RPG, always a good thing. But, like I said, not much of a storyline, but, <laughs> well, that's so many buts, but the point is, the lore is incredible and vast, the storyline, I mean, it makes up for it. The, with with the, with the background in the game itself, the game world around you, rather than the more direct, why is your character here doing what he's doing? Now, I don't have much else to say besides the the world in the game is set in. Not not talking about lore now. I'm talking about actual uh, the game world you're running around in is very well designed and <laughs> very well incorporated. And the way that you can run from one side of the world to the other without a single loading screen, I think, is incredible. And I've used that word too many times. Now I sound like a bit of a fanboy. Uh, like I've said before, I know why people don't buy this game, but I myself strongly, strongly advise it to anyone that's even curious. If you like RPGs, if you wanted to try an RPG and you haven't before, this would be a brilliant game to start with. Keep in mind, it is a tough game, but once you learn the game's mechanics itself, the challenge is in learning the game. Each new enemy will merely provide a, challenge, provide a challenge rather than providing a, a mind-boggling, undefeatable opponent which you just can't get your head around. So, thank you all for watching. I do plan on doing a few Dark Souls-related guides and they will be on character-building equipment uh, once I get some sort of recording device, if enough people want it. I mean, I don't want to be sitting here wasting my time. I hope that I get a few views on this. Even a small, like, group of people that enjoy watching me, that will be fantastic for me. I don't have extremely high hopes. I know how hard YouTube is to get far in. But, you know, I'm making videos because I enjoy making videos and that's what I plan on doing. I would just like to add quickly, sorry for the long video, I, that was just a lot for me to say and it's my first video so hopefully it'll give you an idea of what to expect. Uh, please leave criticism, comments, all of that stuff, what you'd like to see from me, what you wouldn't like to see from me, what you enjoyed and what you didn't enjoy and also, please, just, I mean, what's the point in ridiculing? If you don't like it, thumbs it down or whatever, but don't leave comments just saying how how annoying my voice is or whatever. I may not have Elvis's voice, and I'm very aware of that, but hey, I try my best. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.